and they're origi originally from Malaysia. Her husband wants to move back and she believes that she is living a better life in Sudan where she is uh, in terms of uh, religious education and uh, religious practice. Her husband wants to move back, so she needs an advice. Uh, a general advice is that where you can invest in raising your children properly in a way that pleases Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in a way that it secures for them uh, a reasonable life that they will learn what please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they will be able to uh, perform what Allah ordered properly they would be surrounded with the proper company uh, you would have helpers a'wanun ala al-khayr helpers to encourage you to do as much as you can of good deeds and abstain from the ma'asi then this is where I should be living at since both countries are Muslim countries I personally love Malaysia I visited it and there are uh, a lot of beautiful things there and especially uh, the capital and of course there are of Islamic centers and masajid and Islamic education Islamic University etc uh, some people cannot afford that uh, rather they find it more available somewhere else so follow uh, your instinct and where you can find better guidance it doesn't mean that I'm saying this country is better than that country. As a matter of fact, one sheikh once, and the sheikh was from Sudan, his students visited Egypt. So one of them, upon his return, while the sheikh was teaching in his halqa, he asked him, how was your trip to Egypt? He said, sheikh, Egypt is full of corruption, a lot of belly dancers, and people drink, and he said, sadaqt, you're right. Then a while later, Another student who visited Egypt returned and the Sheikh asked him, how was your trip to Egypt? He said, Sheikh, Egypt is the country of Islam, is the country of Al-Azhar, a lot of education, good people, good company, and a lot of great scholars. I benefited a lot. He said, Sadaqt, you're right. So the students were amazed. The Sheikh said, you're right to both views who are completely on the opposite. He said, don't be amazed. One whose aim was to find corruption, to look for belly dancers and bad places, he found what he was looking for. While another, while the other was looking for hilaqul ilm, where he can study and attend religious education classes. And he found what he was aiming at. So basically, you can always find what you want. Bottom line is, I personally decide to move where I can raise my children in an Islamic way. Because the best investment in life is investing in raising your children properly. How good is it to raise your children carrying big degrees? Not just a BA and Master's, PhD, in whatever. But the kids abandon the deen or do not know how to pray properly. They can barely read the Quran. They do not recognize halal and haram. And meanwhile, they have uh, a great deal of asset, of money, of properties, of real estate. All of that doesn't count. What really counts is, you know when you read the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ which says, Whenever the son of Adam dies, all his deeds will come to end, except from three ways. One of them is, When you think about it, when you contemplate this idea, that when you die, you will have somebody who will continue to benefit you. You will still earn hasanat and good deeds. Through leaving behind a good, righteous child, a boy or a girl, who will remember you in their dua. Every good thing they do, you get a similar reward. Before we begin the program, our colleagues were asking me that we need to collect some fund in order to make a continuous charity, Sadaqah Jariyah, for our brother Kareem. And we were discussing that. Imagine when you leave behind 
a righteous son or daughter who are very eager to benefit you after your death. How would you achieve that? By investing in them properly. Not by commemorating your death after 40 days and the anniversary and that's it. But on daily basis, in every salah, in their sujood, they say, رَبِّ اغْفِرْ لِي وَلِوَالِدَيَّ وَلِلْمُؤْمِنِينَ وَالْمُؤْمِنَاتِ يَوْمَقُومُ الْحِسَابِ They pray for you, they pray for the entire ummah. So if I can find the place where I can achieve my goal in Egypt, that's perfectly fine. In Mecca, in Medina, in Malaysia, in Sudan, as long as it's a Muslim country, we have to strive hard in order to achieve this ultimate goal with regards to raising our children. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordered us in the Quran to take care of our responsibility and those who are under our guardianship. Or we will be liable for any defect or drawback that is because of our uh, lacking behind or not doing our job properly.